Hey everyone, how would you like to access a hidden world of apps on your Amazon Fire Stick in just a few minutes? In this video, I'll walk you step by step how to do this. You'll be able to discover apps that provide you free movies, TV shows, sports, and more. If you stick with me, I'll demonstrate how to get all of this on your Fire Stick too. If you're ready, let's begin. Before we continue, I want to show you the best streaming devices you can get right now. If you don't already own one, or yours is getting outdated, check out the links in the description for the top options available today. First, go to your home screen and find the magnifying glass icon. Press down, then hit the center button on your remote control. This brings up a keyboard. Now, type Downloader. It should show up in the suggestions. Scroll down, choose it, and hit the center button. That takes you to the right app which shows up in orange. Let's choose it. This brings up the app's page. Simply hit the center button once and it starts downloading to your device. Let it reach 100%. Be patient. When it's complete, you'll see Launch Now. But don't open it just yet. Now that it shows Launch Now, press the Home button on your remote. Next, we'll need to go to your Fire Stick's settings for an important change. The quickest way there is to slide all the way to the right on your home screen. A menu shows up at the bottom. Scroll down, and we're looking for the option labeled My Fire TV. If it's a really old device, it could even show My Device instead. Whatever it's called or wherever it shows up, that's what we need to choose. Let's choose it together. When you choose it, everyone's screen should look fairly similar. My screen could be slightly different since I already have developer options. If you don't see it, no problem. I'll show exactly how to enable it. Simply go up and choose About. Then, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV device highlighted, hit the center button on your remote nine times. After this, a message shows up saying, you are now a developer. When you see that, press the back button and developer options will now show up on this menu. Okay, let's choose developer options together. The very first item you'll see is ADB debugging. Hit the center button once to turn it on. A small box may show up. Just scroll down and choose Allow. Next, choose Install Unknown Apps. Scroll down to Downloader, then hit the center button once to turn it on. If you have an older Fire Stick, this option could be missing entirely. Instead, it could show apps from unknown sources, and you can only turn it on or off. If you see that, simply turn it on. Now that we're ready, hit the home button on your remote. Now, we'll need to find that new downloader app. The fastest way to see all your apps is to slide almost all the way to the end and choose the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This shows every app you have. The newest apps always appear at the very bottom. Simply scroll all the way down and let's choose downloader together. A small box may show up. Just hit the center button to get rid of it. This app allows you to visit almost any website. To do that, hit the center button two times and a keyboard shows up so you can type a web address. Today, I'm going to take us to a special website. I'll show the code on the screen as I type it. Be sure to type it exactly the same or you could get an error. Take your time. When you have the address typed correctly, choose Go. Let's give it time to finish. This could take a moment or two, just be patient. If you see a connection error or a check link message, it means your connection is being blocked. Simply turn on your VPN or switch its location and that should fix the problem. As soon as the download is complete, it asks you to set up the app. Just slide over and choose install. When the setup is finished, slide over and choose the done button. Choosing done takes us back to this screen. We're going to slide over, choose delete, and one more time, slide over and choose delete. All right, everyone, that's everything we needed from the downloader app. Let's hit the home button. Next, we'll need to go back to your Amazon Fire Sticks settings and change one more thing. Remember, the simplest way to get to your settings is to slide all the way to the end. Then, once more, hit the center button on my Fire TV or my device. After that, choose developer options, and one more time, go to Install Unknown Apps. 
go ahead and choose that. This time, you'll see Unlin has appeared on the list. If you have other apps, simply scroll down until Unlin is highlighted, and just like before, press the center button once to make sure Unlin is turned on. Now that everything's done, hit the home button one more time. We'll need to find that new Unlin app. Again, just slide over and choose the icon with three squares and a plus sign. Slide to the very bottom, and right there is the new Unlin app we just added. Let's open it together. The first thing it asks for is a new library. Hit the center button on your remote two times, like that. Another keyboard shows up, asking for the library code. Folks, I created my own unique app store, giving access only to my viewers and followers. I worked hard to fill my store with only the best, newest apps. All I ask for my effort, keeping the apps up to date, creating this video, and answering your questions, is that you hit the subscribe button. That simple action tells me thank you for giving all of this away for free. And a huge thank you to all my viewers who are already following me. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and type this code. Make sure to take your time. It must be typed exactly the same, or you could get an error. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video. When you have that code typed correctly, choose next and give it a moment to load. Everyone, welcome to my special app store. I've packed it with 85 incredible apps for free on-demand content, sports, live TV, spicy content, and so much more. Many people ask for my favorites, and my top recommendations for cutting the cord are right here in the welcoming message. Also, many of you ask why a VPN is so important with these apps. I've included a short message here, so please take a moment to read all the info on the welcoming screen. After you've read everything, hit the center button on your remote three times. This groups my store for you. Slide up and down to see different groups, or right and left for apps. Today, I'll show a few apps, how the store works, how to add apps, and how to start enjoying your free entertainment. Now, scroll all the way down through the categories until you find category number 15. Great YouTube examples. So, the first app I want to download here is IP Vanish VPN. It's my top pick for keeping everyone safe and private while using all these great apps. Some people have trouble downloading or even using apps because their internet provider blocks them. With IP Vanish VPN, you stay completely secure and can get around any restrictions your internet company puts on you and all of your devices. To download IP Vanish VPN, you can choose it and hit download. Or what I prefer to do to always get the latest version is go back to the Fire Stick home screen Find the magnifying glass, scroll down, choose the search bar, and when the keyboard shows up, type IP Vanish. Sometimes you will need to type it in fully to get it shown, so just take your time here. Type it in exactly as I am, then you'll see it in the suggestions. Choose and hit the center button. On this page, select the app from the list, and in this menu, hit the center button to start the installation process. Give it a moment or two, just stay patient for a moment. It'll be done soon, and when it's installed, hit the center button to open the app. Now you can log in. Don't have an account yet? Well, I'll make it incredibly simple for you to get one so you can browse without worry and unlock all those fantastic apps. First, grab your phone or computer and open your internet browser. Go to the website on the screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to go right there. I'll also put the website link in the description and comments below. Next, pick your plan. You can even choose just one month to try it out and see the difference for yourself. When you get it, they'll send an email with your unique username and password. Once you have that, your Fire Stick will be completely safe and secure. Now sign into the IP Vanish app and choose Connect. I also want to show a couple of settings. Choose the gear icon on the IP Vanish app. A menu shows up. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If I hit the center button and turn this on, you won't need to worry about manually turning your VPN on every time you power up. 
The VPN connects automatically, so you won't need to stop your movie to check if it's on. It'll do it for you. Okay, so now that we're completely safe, let's start grabbing some of these awesome apps. Press the home button and go back to your apps. And once again, open the Unlin application and go back to the same category. Now folks, I want to show the next five apps you should download to get free on-demand content, sports, and live content. You'll find five more apps we can install in this category. It's also super helpful to carefully read the descriptions so you understand what each app is, what it does, and what you need to do. Here's the first one, and also, by far, my most recommended app you need. You'll see an app name that gives you live content, pay-per-view, and spicy content. Simply choose it, hit download, and we'll simply let it reach 100%. This could take a moment or two, just be patient. Depending on your internet speed, it could be super fast. We'll be moving on shortly. I promise this part doesn't last forever. This is part of the process. Then, choose Install App, slide over, and choose Install. Give it a moment. Yeah, here we are waiting again. Hang tight, it'll be done soon. After that, it'll take us right back into the store so we can grab more apps. Then, you'll find an app name that provides you with all the sports content. Simply choose it and hit Download. Here's the next progress bar. Let it fill up to 100%. I know, I know, it feels like the same step again, but this is part of the process. It shouldn't take long, so hang tight. When you see the small box show up, choose Install App, slide over and choose Install. I get it, another wait. Just be patient with this step too. We are almost done. Also, here is an app name that provides you with all the on-demand content. Simply choose it and hit download. Just like before, let it load all the way to 100%. Hang tight, we're almost in the final stretch. A little patience and we'll be moving on shortly. When you see the small box show up, choose Install App, slide over and choose Install. I know, more waiting, but it won't take long, promise? Next up, you'll find an app name that provides you with all the movies and all the TV shows. Simply choose it and hit download. Another download here. Just let it climb to 100%. Don't worry, we're getting close to the end. I promise the ending is nearby. When you see the small box show up, choose Install App, slide over, and choose Install. I know, another pause. Just a little patience and we'll move on. Now, some apps in my store need a separate player to work correctly. The app you just installed for movies and TV shows is one of those. You'll actually see in its title that it mentions needing this other player app. It might seem a bit confusing now, but when you read its description here, or when you're using the apps, you'll see it, and it will all make sense. So, let's download that app player now. You'll find an app name that's the needed player, Choose Download. Here's the next progress bar. I know, it feels like the same step again, but this is part of the process. This should be the last ones, I promise. When the small box shows up, choose Install App, slide over and choose Install. Another short wait here. Just be patient, we're nearly through it. Folks, it's that easy. We just installed five awesome apps. There are 85 in my store, so please don't limit yourself to the small examples I showed today in this video. My top favorite apps you will find in category number one, top apps. The apps in that category are my absolute favorites. I use them daily. Explore the store and download as many of the apps as you want to try. They are all free, so feel free to download all of them if they can fit on your device. But now that you've downloaded everything you want, let's hit the home button, because once again, I want to go and find all those apps we just put on. And if you recall from earlier in the video, all you need to do is choose that icon with three squares and a plus sign. It shows all your apps. So, what I want you to do is choose one of those new apps, then hit the three lines button, also known as the menu button on your remote. A menu shows up. Choose where it says move to front. You'll see the app move from the bottom to the top. 
Now hit the home button here. From the home screen, where you always start, you'll have easy access to those apps right here. You won't need to search for them. Now folks, I know that we downloaded some fantastic apps that give us free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. Before you ever open any of those apps, I always strongly suggest that you turn your VPN on first. Folks, I just want to express my sincere thanks to all my followers. It truly means a lot and helps me immensely. I cannot thank you enough for taking time out of your day to help me achieve a goal. I look forward to your comments and seeing you very soon in the next video.